Hello everyone, so after a sad day um, over there in Spalding for the pig vigil, we've come here to Pigs in the Woods Sanctuary here in Huddersfield. It's a beautiful place situated here in the woods out here in Huddersfield. And we come here to meet the staff, look at the sanctuary, and of course, meet the pigs. Let's do it. How are you? Great to meet you. This is beautiful. So, yeah, here we are. This is pigs in the wood. Wow. Pigs are all over the wood. The They're pigs? Busy. How many pigs do you have here? Uh, at the moment we have 20. Okay, cool. Uh, permanent residents, but we also rehome other pigs. Well, let's go and walk through and see if we can meet some pigs. Okay, I'll take you this let's way. Let's go this way. Yeah. Just grab some food as a temptation for uh -huh. them. It's just bread. Uh, we try not to give them too much bread. It's not really healthy for them. Okay. But as a treat. Just a treat. Then, yeah. We tend to go for sweet things. So. Like like we all yeah. we all do. <laughs> <laughs> all these amazing volunteers uh, that just help out in their own time. Nice. Wakey, wakey. Who's this? <gasps> Who's this in here? Come on, wake up. Wakey, wakey. Oh, good morning, Grumble Bums. This is Greta. We've just disturbed her, but I don't think she'll mind for a piece of bread. Oh, Greta is being bribed with a piece of bread. They're they have great. lots of fruits and vegetables, don't they? Yeah, yeah, they're quite fussy actually with what they eat. Yeah. People don't realise how fussy they are, but they don't like anything dark green. Oh, really? So they hate sprouts. Hello, Greta. <laughs> how are you? Greta just say hello. Yeah. Is that? <laughs> hello. Uh, hello. <laughs> Would you like to give us some bread? Greta, here. Look what I've got for you. Here you go. Oh dear, that's only a treat for you. Yeah. Otherwise, you get two two chubba wubs. Right. I think we've had enough. <laughs> that's enough bread for you we've today. We've actually got a pig who's gluten intolerant. Oh really? So he can't have bread, but he does try to pinch it when he can. That's little George, who you might see. <laughs> Oh, Greta, you are just the cutest. <laughs> Come on, Greta. As I say, they're around the wood collecting acorns. Oh, right. Which, acorns? They love acorns? Well, they love them too much. Uh, they've become addicted to them. They give them like a buzz. Yeah. <laughs> You're getting high off acorns, Greta. They're we naughty. A pig that was stoned for two days. Oh, wow. He just lay on his back with his legs up in the air and he just couldn't move. Wilbur. Wilbur! Stoned piggy off the acorns. Yeah. Okay, so in here we have Mabel and Jingle and Bella. Yep, Mabel. So she's a mangalitsa. They were nearly extinct in 1990. So the grunting helps the milk. The grunting helps the milk flow? Yeah. I didn't know that. Mabel's crib is just on point. <laughs> That's the best pig crib I've ever seen. That's a big yawn. It's got very uh, wiry hair, very curly. Yeah. I think you deserve it. Too. Hello, beautiful. You deserve that. Hello, that Mum. Thing. Hello, Mabel. They've got fuzzy little wuzzies. <laughs> Hello, do oh my lord. Oh my look, can I feed the can I feed the baby? Hello, baby. Oh dear. Come here, little baby. Here, here, puppy. Oh, oh, they are sharp. You gotta be, you gotta be careful. <laughs> take my bloody finger off. Oh dear. Here you go. Here you go. Just on the floor. Then I don't want to lose my finger. Here you go. Here you go. Here you go. Oh, ah. God. Be careful. Oh God. How does she do it? Those little nippers on her, on her. Oh my God. How do you feed these babies? And it took my little finger off. You little, you little body pants. <laughs> um, and she was going to be um, given away a breeding pig, so she oh, really? been removed from her piglets. Ah, oh, so they would have been taken away from her, but now she gets to stay with her piglets. Yeah. It's a happy mum. Yeah. Because in the in the farrowing sheds, they um they just breed them and take the piglets away constantly and keep yeah. them in those crates and. 
they just don't consider, you know, the... The maternal work. bond of the... Yeah, yeah. they just don't consider that at all. Well, they don't care. They don't care, no, they care about the money, that's it. Yeah. Happy mum and happy babies. Yeah. That's how it should be. Yeah. You're my favourite animal ever! Look at you! <laughs> Look at your little face! <laughs> scratchy scratchies. You like Billy Scratch? Oh. You, you like, want a Billy Scratch? Come on. Come on, come over. There you go. It's okay, don't be shy. I'm giving you a Billy Scratch. There you oh, go. Oh dear. Come look at her face. You like a little Billy Scratch, darling? Oh, ho, ho, ho. oh yes, you are so beautiful. Yes, you are so beautiful. Don't be shy. If you're ever feeling a bit down, come to Pigs in the Woods, meet the piglets, and you're gonna feel much better. We went to the slaughterhouse uh, the other day, so went to Spalding Animal Save and the gas chamber there in Spalding. So we just come here for to. Yeah, we get a lot of um, vegan groups come mm. to see the kind of the positive side of it. Some are just mentally exhausted, you know, from what they see yeah. constantly. But, I mean, I've had school kids and I've talked to them about the story of the pigs yeah. and the fact that, you know, some don't live longer than six months and they've yeah. asked why. And when yeah. I've explained to them, they've all burst out, you know, crying yeah, in yeah. tears, really upset. Yep. Um, but then, you know, it's something that they don't know or understand or is hidden from them. Yeah. And uh, I think, you know, the next generation hopefully will be more open-minded yeah. about what's going on. I think yeah. we can make a difference now. I think if we, like sanctuaries can help change the way people view the animals, you know, like, I think people just view pigs as, uh, you know, they're just food or they see them yeah. as, they just see bacon, they don't actually see the pig. And then when they see the pig, they look, they look down on them with a bit of contempt. Yeah. But when you bring them to a sanctuary and they have individual names and stories and, That's right. you know, then they can start viewing animals as beings worthy of yeah. respect. It does resonate with mm. some people, you mm. know, they make that connection yeah. and they think about it. And, you know, all pigs are the same. Yeah. You know, you can't differentiate no. between a pig that goes to, and people do that though, they kind of, Put them in different categories. Know, categories. That, so it's okay because that's a breeding pig, but this is a pet pig. Yeah. But they all have the same feelings. Mm. You know, they all. Um, and at the end of the day, breeders, whether it's um, organic, they still have to go through that horrendous experience. Yeah, organic pigs are going to be gas chambered or exactly. you know electrically prodded and murdered, and they. they yeah. They matter. And I even go as far as to say to people like there's like when they, they have these companion animals at homes like dogs and cats and yeah. like inherently the way they feel pain and want to live and they feel love and all these joy and all these things is no different to a pig does and in exactly. the way yeah. Giorgio! Oh, George is gluten intolerant. Hey, George! We're just gonna go meet George, like, up close and personal. Hey, Georgie. Hey, buddy. How you going? How are you? Oh, you're giving a little sniff. You want a little scratch? Then you get. George needs gluten free bread. He's eating acorns. Yeah, well. <laughs> George, are you an acorn addict? Do <laughs> you want to talk about it? <laughs> Let's go to AA meetings. <laughs> acorns Anonymous. He's probably more interested in acorns than a belly scratch. So there's Kate up there. We've got a slow um, version of Kate shaking. So it's a bit like a Pamela Anderson oh, wow. scene when she comes out of the water. Oh, excellent. Mud flashing everywhere, so I'll root This is going to be a good video. <laughs> <laughs> she was actually part exchange for a car by a car dealer and a farmer, so. Oh, really? Bartering. Her. But the car dealer just fed them on bread. 
and so oh, the male nah. pig had a stroke. He became too attached to Kate, but he couldn't admit it. Oh, really? He couldn't say it was because he became too attached to her. So he started to get emotional connection with Kate and he couldn't eat her? Yeah, and he said it was because she was a nuisance. Oh, I know. Yeah. He's trying to do the old defense mechanism right. strategy. Yeah. Could you possibly become emotionally attached to a pig? It's not. The it's same. not. It's not a manly enough, or no. it's not farmer enough. That's right. Hey, Kate, you're beautiful. So she's still addicted to bread. We have to wean her off it. So this is a rare treat. Kate, we've got to wean you I off. Can't emphasize that. <laughs> Kate, we know your your problems with bread. <laughs> yeah. Probably acorns as well now. She's quite a feisty girl. Be careful. She's a bit. Yeah. She's strong. She, she can step. Nice headbutt. Okay. Sometimes. Okay. Uh, I've, I've had a headbutt or two in my time. Don't worry about depends that. Depends what mood she's in. I think some of the the trolls on my channel might like to see me get headbutted by a pig. <laughs> they might like that. <laughs> not today, guys. <laughs> hey, Katie, you're my friend. Okay, look at this belly. Oh my, there's a lot of there's a lot of area to cover here with this belly. <laughs> Look at that! Oh. oh yes! Oh, what's going on under here? Hey. I've been told I give the best belly rubs in all of England. <laughs> That's what all the pigs tell me. <laughs> well, I think words go around. Look at the <laughs> Kate's just chilling, getting the belly rubs out here in the woods. This is a life, hey Kate? So the reason you don't see pigs getting this size, unless like a sow, a, a sow breeding sow might get close, is because they're all killed at about six months old, six to seven months old, and um, most of the pigs here in England and in Wales are killed in gas chambers. And I think you guys would know about gas chambers by now. I've talked about them um, throughout my years on YouTube and. But yeah, sorry, I shouldn't have mentioned that around Kate. She got a yeah. bit uncomfortable then, eh? Yeah. <laughs> it's okay, darling, not you though. But yeah, it's okay, sweetie. Yeah, and she's four years old. She's fully grown now. She's fully grown now. And another point is that these industry, you could blame the industry, but the only reason this industry exists is because of, they're just meeting the demand. So the consumer has a responsibility of what they're paying for here, you know, so. You're paying for these animals to be mass exploited on mass and to be executed for you just so you can have a five minute sandwich. And these are, are beings that are complex, intelligent, caring. They care for their children like you saw before. And they're being treated like objects when they're not objects. They're just sentient animals, conscious animals that want to live at pigs in the wood. <laughs> <laughs> these type of pigs here have the, my, the favorite face of the, all the pigs for me. That face is just too much for me to handle. Look at your face! <laughs> Hello. Oh dear. I don't, you, want, do you want a little piece of bread? What's this? What's this? Florence? Florence, what's this? Oh, am I your, your new friend immediately? So she's a metal white pig. Look at this! <laughs> wow, this is your events area. Yeah. Do you, you've even got a stage here. Yeah. What happens on that stage? Well, it's when we have the pig gig and we have bands once a year. You got a pig uh, gig? I like pig the, gig, the pig yeah. gig. So this year we managed to organise it um, uh, along with COVID restrictions. So we had to put all that in. Did place. you get any photos of the pig gig? Yeah, we've got loads. Of so there's a pig party. Uh, so yeah. The pigs are invited. <laughs> <laughs> no, the pigs invited the humans to the party. Yeah, yeah it was it's their a, party. Yeah, they hosted it. Them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they had the treats as well. The I wish all the pigs had a pig party in this beautiful <laughs> heaven that, you know, yeah. it's just so sad. Like it's so, it's, it's really heartwarming, but it's also really sad knowing the contrast because it yeah. it's such to the, another extreme of horror. And that's, that's actually the reality for the vast, vast, vast majority of pigs on earth. Yeah. They are just seeing nothing as, they're just seen as like, I don't know, objects and it's horrible. But these pigs are in like piggy paradise. <laughs> yeah, it's just, they're all about everywhere. I don't know who this is over here. Louise. Is this Louise? Louise. So they're, they're really used to people if you had them since piglets, yeah? yeah. Hey Louise, how are you? Am I allowed to give Louise yeah, a little yeah. snack? 
Louise, look what I have I've come all the way from Australia to give you this bit of Australian bread. There you go, mate. There you go. Here you go. There you go. Oh dear, look at that face. Is that, is that yummy? <laughs> Do you give me a little sniff kiss? Give me a little sniffing kiss. <laughs> so all her brothers and sisters were, were killed. Uh, what for? The meat industry? Yeah. They, ooh, they were taken off and we managed to get her and her mum and her sister as well. Because um, they, were, they were actually advertised as surplus to requirement. Okay. Because it was the end of the season on the leisure farm and so people could just come and take them. So we raced down there because we knew that farmers would take the opportunity to get some free pigs and uh, unfortunately seven of them had already gone. Oh and dear. So when I tell this story to school children they get really upset. Yes. They want to know what happened to the piglets and so I carefully explain that to them and they were hugging her and they were saying we're Lost sorry. Lost her whole family. Yeah. It really did um, affect oh, Louise. them. Louise. Yeah. But that's reality, isn't it, unfortunately. It doesn't have to be reality though, so we, yeah. can, all, we can all make a difference here, but it starts with what you put in your mouth. Someone's dropped the nuts. <gasps> By accident? Yeah. Because... It's a lucky find. Who's this? Is this? Is this Greta? Greta. What have you got here? You hit the jackpot. Yeah. Yeah, because you can tell. Look, there's a trail. <laughs> it just stopped. It, it dropped there, and they started walk, kept walking, didn't notice it. <laughs> I mean, I would, I would stay in one of these porches. They look, they look mighty comfy with all that straw in there. Just give me a bowl of oats in one of those piggy bowls every morning. A couple of peanuts, I'll be sorted. <laughs> we'll get some bread for you, Wilbur. Wilbur. Here he is. It's worth waking up for a piece of bread. Look at your face. Look at that smile. <laughs> Hello, darling. Oh, look at you. And also, what about people who say that pigs are really dirty animals and they poo all over themselves no, and all that? That's not true. Do they poo, ever poo in their house? They never make a mess in their house. Okay. They don't wee or poo in their house. They'll find an area like a toilet where they go to. So but, so, but in the factories they are defecating where they yeah. because they can't move so people just get this idea that pigs just defecate on themselves yeah. and I think that's where the rumors come from. Yeah. I think a lot of time people just want to believe that because it justifies what yeah, they yeah. do, that they're dirty animals. Some is a really big admirer of yours. Oh really? Watch on Facebook. I've heard, I'm an admirer of yours too. I heard, oh, that, I heard that you're a, <laughs> I heard that you do a lot for the animals here. Yeah, lot, yeah. yeah, yeah. How long have you been working here for? About 11 months now. Wow. And do you really like it? I love it. Pigs are great. <laughs> don't be, don't be shy. Oh, <laughs> What's your, your favourite story? about your experience here with the animals. Come on, there's got to be one that, that... It's hard to think on the oh, I think it, oh, when the vet came out for Greta, and she was running around in circles, taking everyone down. Uh, <laughs> why, because she didn't want to go with, with the vet? Yeah, she didn't. <laughs> uh, they're, they're very scared when they see the vet coming. They're so smart. No. Yeah. And yeah, we, we accept everyone here. That's Every, beautiful, Everyone's yeah. welcome here. And we try to show the pigs living naturally and what the what they are, the characters, and we get loads and loads of positive responses. Yeah. And you know, you get the odd, odd people saying, you know, oh, I bet they're good in a bacon sandwich, yeah, yeah. etc. But by the time they've been round and they've looked and cuddled and tickled the pigs, do you know what? You start to start to, start to break around, through. As long as they've got as long as they've got that going. goal to work towards and they know that while they're continuing to consume these products that you know they're paying for this horror story to happen and they've got to work towards that goal yeah yeah and you know when they come here and they make that association that actually that that's my pork chop or that, that's my bacon butty and yeah they are they, yeah they are once they see the who instead uh, of the what and it starts, yeah it starts that message all of yeah. a sudden you can see, almost i can guarantee you can almost see that penny drop yeah 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 so like if you convinced if you convinced you know every five people here 
to you know be a vegan or reduce them or have vegan days then how many animals are you saving exactly <laughs> exactly and you know it, it just spreads well, so, it's true yeah. yeah yeah so just you you having this place here you know you're having like this little impact on the people around here so it's always got to do something yeah, I don't want to be standing there like what's your proudest achievement here because i heard that you've done, you. done a lot of the infrastructure here what is, what is your proudest achievement here um my proudest yeah. uh, is um, coming to work here every day and um, making a difference. I think when you can make a difference, when you can make a difference and make a positive difference, um, it makes you feel good inside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mean, you know, I think if you've got a choice to be kind or cruel, people choose kindness. Choose kindness. It makes you feel better, doesn't it? Oh, God, yeah. Uh, so it's actually like a circular... Thing where you're giving it, you're giving out and you're getting back at the same time. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's nothing better than um, early mornings working at the top of the woods. Yeah. And uh, you you hear Harry grunt at the back of you. Yeah. And it, initially, there's a little bit of anxiousness because you realise you've left a dog biscuit in your yeah. Back pocket. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the first time I got nipped by Harry. <laughs> yeah, he was after the dog biscuit. Oh, cute. Yeah. So cute. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for doing yeah, all your hard right, work Joe. here. I mean, it's, it's a beautiful gift that you're giving your time and your energy and work. And so, all in, the team. all in the team. All in the team. Do you take volunteers? Yeah, we take volunteers. Yeah, we're always in need of volunteers. Okay. Um, generally, we do two shifts a day. Okay. So they get fed in the morning and afternoon. Yeah. Um, so we try to get three volunteers on at a time and then we can spread the jobs out. Oh wow. So if you had more volunteers, you could spread the shifts out more more liberally and you know. Yeah, that's right. So there you go. So if anyone wants to come volunteer, you can reach out to Pigs in the Wood. That's right, yeah. We're uh, always looking for new volunteers. The links will all be down below. So you can reach out and say, hey, I'm interested in volunteering and, and see what happens. But yeah. very therapeutic being out here in the woods and seeing all the amazing animals. And if you love animals and you think you want, you want to be part of helping animals, this is a good place to start, yeah? Definitely. All right, so that was a lovely day out here in Pigs in the Wood and met all the beautiful animals and the beautiful volunteers and founders here. Volunteers are needed, so I'll leave the links down below for that. If you want to chip in one quid, two quid, 10 quid, 50 quid, let's get it, let's get it done. It goes to the pigs and the infrastructure here and yeah, it's going to a good place.